Carry on with the story now about Jimi Hendrix. Oh yeah, well, I uh, uh, did some interviews, um, free promo for, uh, for the Albert Hall, the Eric Burgess for the Union Tour. And, uh, and I was asked uh, whether it's what the five was like with uh, Jimi Hendrix when he came to uh, jam with us at Manny Scott the night that we were appearing there years ago. Nine. Told me I could be wrong. So far, so a long time ago, I can't remember. But I, think, I believe it was 69. Anyway, Jimmy came down that Tuesday uh, out of the, I believe the third night that we were playing, and we had five nights. And he didn't bring his guitar. So man, what's up? He guitar. I'm sorry. All right, I'll bring it tomorrow, man. So he brought his guitar. Uh, the next night, which was Wednesday, and man, we, uh, he didn't bring any gimmicks, no one had gimmicks, he just bought a simple amplifier, sort of, uh, reminiscent of, uh, the way it was back in the 60s when we used to play the same circuit, back in the jazz blues era, days, our days, our era, anyway, it was fun being able to just to play simple blues. We played uh, Mr. Slim uh, song, uh, Brother Earth. And uh, we played it for a whole hour. We were all on stage just, I guess back in those days you call it. <laughs> we were playing. Somebody sent, somebody sent you that tape too, and you actually have a copy of that tape when you were playing with Jimmy. Yeah, yeah but, the, it, but it's, it, it's, the audio is not that clear. It's very, very dirty because it was recorded on a, a cassette and back in those days uh, someone recording on a cassette tape machine uh, there wasn't the clarity that we have today or anything like that maybe maybe I might be able to take that cassette if I can find it and get a uh, see if they can clean it up get it digitized and uh, so I can hear it a little better, but uh, right now it's, uh, I can I can hear I can understand it where someone else wouldn't be able to because I know what I did and I know what we were doing. So that's the only uh, thing that I have to, to understand it better than someone else. Well, it's just no. historical that that kind of tape is even floating around, and the fact that somebody actually recorded that performance because that's a legendary piece of. Uh, Memorabilia. Yeah, well, uh, this jockey, our, our radio announcer, college radio announcer, gave it to me. He said it was given to him by someone from um, somewhere back east, and, and it was given to him from someone over, from over in Europe, and then for him from somewhere in England. So it's been floating around for many, many years. You know, 69 up to now. Wow, that's a long time. Well, I'd like to thank everybody over at Tent Lab. I got a new sponsor that's sponsoring the blog here in Honolulu, and they're Tent Lab. So if anybody needs to get their car tinted, Tent Lab's going to take good care of you, and they really love your music, Lonnie, over at Tent Lab. Oh, great. Thank you. I tell myself, thank you very much. I'm honored. Uh, I look forward to some more of these very, very soon. I'm doing some remixes on some of my songs that we So you will, uh, you, uh, very soon you'll get a copy of uh, Do the Word remixed and uh, what else do I have? Uh, get Down is being remixed by some of your top-notch uh, mixers. Uh, some of the music that you hear on a lot of eclectic stations, so that's what you're going to get. Well, we've been hearing your jazz album, uh, the new Lonnie Jordan War Stories. It's being played here on the university stations and some of the jazz outlets we have here. Oh, great. Ready. All right. I'm happy. Yeah, we'd like to thank <laughs> Bob Peterson. He's been putting it out on the UH channel. And, of course, we've got Jazz Minds here in Honolulu where they're just waiting for anything that you put out. They love to promote. Oh, great. Um, well, I have the war stories out, so make it. Do your thing. You know, like the Isley Brothers said, this show thing. What you want to do? <laughs> Did you ever meet them? <laughs> I've met them. I've met Ronnie more than anyone. I've seen Ronnie around here and there. 
other concerts where I've had the opportunity to go to, and you know, uh, entertainers run into each other. Plus, I ran into him. We played together. Also, as well, I've had a pleasure of meeting him. He's one of my uh, one of my idols. A great singer. I mean, he did this thing. He goes all the way back to Motown. You know, you make me wanna shout. You know. <laughs> Man, that's, back. Good stuff. that's you know, legendary but, stuff. How does it feel being home after being on the road? I go through it all the time, but do you miss Hawaii? I miss Hawaii a lot. It, you know, that Aloha spirit, man, is nothing like it. I felt like I was uh, totally healed from whatever. If, if, if I had anything going on with me, I was healed by the Aloha ocean. <laughs> Oh man, it was great. As yeah, we speak, I'm looking at your uh, your CD that you sent. <laughs> nice I worked really hard on that one, yeah, because we really we we were happy to have a legend in our presence. Oh, hey, okay, hello, Tent Lab. Uh, this is Lonnie Jordan from War. Just uh, thanking you for everything that you're doing uh, for me, you and Marvin, and uh, uh, and uh, Mahalo. That's great, man. Mahalo from from all of us here in Hawaii, too. We really appreciate you coming on, doing this vlog, so the people can hear real Lonnie Jordan up close and not those imitations out there on the Internet. <laughs> great. <laughs> well, you caught me at a real chill moment, so good. And I'm on my computer, and I'm watching television, and I'm eating, and I'm doing everything at the same time. And I'm on the phone. Let's see, what else am I doing? Uh, that's a lot, huh? That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> and trying to think, too. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to try to keep the blogs current so everybody will know that we're still out there giving them the best that we can every day, getting them up close to the artists that they love from so many years. And that's why we're here today, to make sure that everybody can get a little closer to Ward, the band and the man, Lonnie Jordan. Thanks so much for your time. I'll get this posted right away. Great. Okay, Marvin. Okay, thank you, Lonnie. Okay. Out. Wow, Teresa. That is bad. But that's good enough. Don't hurt the star. No. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah. Think Megan's driving. No, Meg, M E apostrophe G. Uh, thank you, Meg's driving for feeding Marvin Franklin, man, because Marvin is looking better than me now. I'm jealous. But thank you so much.